Hi there, welcome to this video. Arvind here, and I'm going to explain to you a trade which I took today in Reliance. Okay, in the stock options, uh, I'll explain to you how that I took that. So this is Nifty chart for today, and it opened up in a gap up today. You can see uh, opened up around 12,028, and it went all the way up to 12,000, almost 100, right? So it was a good jump. It was very stable, stagnant. It was uh, moving sideways for some time, and then it gave a final push in the end, right? So uh, it was kind of flat, like in RSA is pretty flat today and even MACD lines converged here because of the gap up opening and it remains stable. Uh, I'll show you the trade which I took today in Reliance and uh, what kind of profit I was able to book and few other trades which we also analyzed, uh, I'll show you some of the trades. Okay, so NIFT, uh, I mean uh, also Reliance had a gap up opening, right? It opened up around 1580 uh, and it was going flat. And uh, we had a market view that Reliance will be uh, having a bullish trend. Okay, so we made an entry. I'll show you orders today. You can see here this was the uh, order. I just, I just took one trade today, and in Reliance at uh, 10:3 I make an entry. Sorry, at 9:58 make, make an entry. So I take a 1,600 call option. Uh, I buy 2,500 quantity. You can see here at uh, around 10 o'clock. It was moving sideways, and uh, because of the gap of opening, a lot of buying happening in the market, right? And RSI was pretty high, and was picking a breakout of resistance, but uh, it actually went down after I entered, and it came down, and uh, 1574, 1571, it was touching. I didn't exit, but somewhere here I was adding a little bit of quantity. You can see here at uh, within five minutes, within three minutes, I added 500 quantity at 22.4, and I was waiting. So it was going on pretty sideways, you can see not much of activity here, but towards the last hour, right, last half an hour, there was a good push in the end. Uh, I was expecting a push to come a little earlier, and even if even, even if it didn't happen today, I would have, uh, I would have actually been sure that it's going to happen uh, the next day. So I was pretty confident that Reliance will be bullish, and because of the chart, uh, it's very clear and... Uh, I, we had a target of uh, more than, uh, I think 20 to 30 we had a target, but uh, I kept an order at at 25 uh, at uh, 12.53, but I cancelled it because the quantity I added here. So I placed one more one more order at 30, I mean at 25 uh, price, and that got executed just before the market closed at 3.28, okay. You can see here Reliance actually closed at uh, 25, okay, so Reliance actually closed, this is chart of Reliance. Uh, the options uh, chart. So let it just load up. You can see here. Let's go to the five minutes chart. You can see here there was a minor, there was a, a push here in the end, right? At 320. It was all the way to around 22, 23. It was going on. This it was almost range bound throughout. And last hour it pushed and hit 25 uh, and above. And I was able to book profit. You can see I'll show the pop, the positions tab. You can see here. Uh, I was able to make 6,800 uh, with this one single trade uh, I took in Reliance today. And we also had very, we also had many other trading opportunities where we had very good returns. Uh, I'll show you that. But before that, the logic behind this trade is uh, once you once you form the market view, it's very important to stick to it because especially in stock options, uh, once you once you, once you expect a bullish or a bearish trend to to continue. Uh, you can also enter into a call or a put option accordingly, right? And wait for it because uh, since it, since all stock options have monthly expiry, you have enough time for you to recover. It gives you good time to recover. So even if Reliance didn't touch uh, 1855, uh, I mean, uh, even 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 if it didn't touch that level, I would have been holding on. But I still have two more weeks time for expiry. So there's very good time to recover, right? And uh, only the only thing you have to look at is is the time decay factor when you're going when you're buying an option. Okay, but that's not going to affect much because uh, if you're going for index options, Nifty or Bank Nifty, you can you should be more worried about it because uh, especially on Wednesday and Thursday, very close to expiry, you'll have that the the theta value coming into play, right? The time decay will be much more there. Okay, but here it is. Don't have to worry much. That's the beauty of stock options. Uh, it's like you can make consistent income in this if you take the right stocks and if you enter enter at the right time. And you can definitely book very good decent returns. Even if you don't have much capital, uh, you can make a regular income from stock options. Even if we, even if you have a small capital, uh, you can easily generate four to five thousand rupees per day, and uh, you can earn very well. Okay, I, I really hope this was helpful to you. And I'll show you a few more trades which we uh, analyzed. Uh, probably you'll get a better idea. Okay, 
conceit on the trade which we analyzed today, uh, SBIN. Uh, in fact, we analyzed this uh, yesterday. Both these uh, uh, India, uh, I mean, uh, uh, high bull housing finance. It touched 300 here. Uh, this was more than 10, uh, fitting 9. And uh, VEDL was a good call option at 145 strike price. I showed you the previous video also. It touched 7.5 target hit. And Tata Power, we took it about, I think, two days back at 52. And now it touched almost 54. Uh, we booked profit here. And Bank Nifty trade was good. Uh, in fact, Bank Nifty was crossing 32,000 today. And we took it at 10.40 in the morning. You can see that it touched uh, 2.30. And it went ahead to cross 3.50 or 3.75. So very good call. And uh, Indus in uh, futures, we took at 1,438. It touched target of 1,474. And Concord, we took, I think, two days back at 5.58. It touched uh, target of 5.74. And Mother Sumi, we, hit, uh, we entered at 134 and had a target of 143. And in fact, we made one more entry today at around 140 level. So we can good for delivery trade. Looking good. And uh, this was the target which we set for uh, Ibull Housing Finance again, 309. This so is a separate one. This is separate. This futures and this was in the cash market. Uh, IGL futures call we took 408, a touch target of 412. It was a good trade. Axis Bank 750 target. We, we took it at 739 and uh, it was a good profit. And Urban Limited uh, again entering at 36.5. Had a target of 40 plus. It almost touched the target and uh, we were able to book profit. So these are the few of the trades which we analyzed and some of the clients uh, had had very good profitable trades. And if you also wish to join us, please join us. Uh, you can go to this link arvinds.co slash support where you can take my trading recommendations. You can you can join my community if you want to learn more from me. I also have my online coaching services arvinds.co slash products. You can go and check out which program if you like. You can also subscribe to it. And you're most welcome to join our community and make good profitable trades. And more than profitable trades, it's important to learn how to trade to independently. So once you know all these strategies, you can take ownership of your uh, investments. You can trade more responsibly, right? So uh, that way, please like and share the comments. Uh, whatever comments you have in the video, please leave it here. And please share the video with your friends. And uh, I'll be able to uh, help you be more. And you can also contact me by email connect at arvindmota.com. And I'm also having my own options mastery course, uh, arvind.co slash fndo mastery. If you go to this link, you can also uh, can also access my courses where you can learn how to trade in uh, in futures and options, right? So that's about it. Uh, many thanks for watching, and I really hope you find we find these videos useful where I'm explaining my trades, the logic behind it, what kind of calls we are taking, and uh, I I really hope this is useful to you. Okay. So thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please like and share the video and also subscribe to my channel and get more updates from me uh, on a regular basis. I'll keep uploading these videos so it will be helpful to you. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care and happy trading. Bye-bye.